35 years ago, celebrated astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson created the character Merlin in the book Merlin's Tour of the Universe in hopes of making information on the cosmos accessible to everybody. Well, of course, a lot has changed since then. But Merlin is back in a revised and updated version of the best-selling book. Lucky fans can actually see Neil at his upcoming event, Science as a Way of Knowing, at NJ Pack in Newark on December 1st. You don't have to wait till then because the man is right here with us on the Good Day stage. Thank you for being with us. Really nice to meet you. I love what you've done with the place. It, it matches your time. <laughs> That's what we try to do, That's coordinate the do. outfits here. First of all, 35 years, I'm sure you can't believe it. No, I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> and I, and I, going through it and resurrecting it and bringing it into the 21st century, uh, I was remind, reminded myself how much of my educational uh, tap roots were set in creating that character, just the, the humor, the, the just the accessibility, the uh, what I pick and choose, so that you'll remember mm -hmm. what the content was. It's not just a curriculum. It's let's have fun with the universe. That's the thing about Merlin or you is Neil deGrasse Tyson over the years. Like you brought education to the standpoint that everybody can access it because you bring the humor and the lightheartedness to it, not just remember the facts and figures. Well, plus, I think the universe is fundamentally hilarious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because no. it's laughing at us? No, you all, maybe, yeah. maybe. Uh, plus, in there, I, you know, I do some rhyming. Mm -hmm. uh, not like rap rhyme, <laughs> but just... <laughs> no, I have one for you. You ready? Okay. Uh, on canvas with paint in the artist's school, it is red that is hot and blue that is cool. But in science we show, as the heat gets higher, a star will glow red, like the coals of a fire. But raise the heat some more, what is in sight? Behold, it has turned bright white. But the hottest of all, Merlin says unto you, is neither red nor white when a star has turned blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> so that, that's in there. Merlin, that's you Merlin composed that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, I just have to say I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, pick some bones. Okay. Sister Margaret Mary taught me the order of the planets. Don't get me started. Okay. No. Now you Don't. changed it on page 55. We talk about could you list all the planets in order from the sun for me? Now we used to say, because yeah. we used to say, in the day, uh, my day, my very educated mother just served us nine pizzas. Yes. But now you changed it. Well, because I had, be you know, after we quote, demoted Pluto at the Rose Center for Earth and Space. I have this, I have a file cabinet of hate mail from third graders, okay? Because they had just memorized uh, what, right. what, right? Yeah. And they're pissed off. Mm -hmm. And so, but I thought, and they said, now what is my mother going to serve us, right? right? That yeah. Somehow that was a problem. And I said, I got one for you. My very educated mother just served us nachos. You're done. <laughs> and right at Neptune there with the N, and you don't need Pluto. I, I love that you ask not only like, you know, fun questions, but you know some burning questions like on page 70 yeah why do the planets venus uranus which we never called uranus back in the day <laughs> exactly okay <laughs> when, when did we change the pronunciation right. of that yeah. why did you do that <laughs> uranus <laughs> well because well, you you got you became older than eight years old okay but, and it was, but jokes are still funny <laughs> <laughs> you, you like the humor right no yeah, yeah you knew where i was going anyway yeah. why did the, and pluto why do they rotate in a retrograde manner. Yeah, so, yeah, Venus, in fact, rotates so slowly that its day is longer than its year. What? I, I can't wait. But, yeah, so they, so you are fewer days old than years old if you grew up on Venus. Except Venus is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. You would vaporize, mm -hmm. which would concern you more than how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There'd be other, other so. factors to worry about. Okay. But, but speaking of pizza, I did a calculation that uh, if you took a 16-inch pepperoni pizza, put it on the windowsill of Venus, mm -hmm. it would cook in seven seconds. But then someone, however geeky you are, there's a geeky-er person <laughs> out there. So I said, geeky-er person said, no, you neglected this other source of, of radiant heat from the atmosphere, and if you do the calculation right, it'll cook in three seconds. And so any New Yorker wants to know, yeah. how fast, fast can, you, can right. you get a pepperoni pizza going? Exactly. So other questions that are answered in this book, because it came about with you 
asking people to send you questions? Yes. Send Merlin I, yeah, questions. Yeah, I had a column right. for a magazine. And yes. then you would answer them. Yes. One of them that fascinated me as well was that uh, I recently read the planet Saturn is light enough to float on water. Since the planet is much bigger than Earth, how can this be true? Yeah, because whatever floats, it's not how heavy it is, it's how dense it is. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You can have a heavy log, mm -hmm. right? Right. And drop it into the water. It will float because the wood is less dense than water. So the total weight is not what matters. And Saturn, on average, its density is less than water. So if you had a bathtub big enough, Saturn would just be chilling in the bathtub. And my brother, <laughs> drew, my brother illustrated it. He drew Saturn just sitting there in a, in a pool yeah. <laughs> with a little drink on the side. I love this. <laughs> right I don't know people. I don't know if you, you get that on a, here, here over here. Can you get that can on a camera? It. Yeah. yeah. It may be too far away. But it, it's really well here. You yeah. got that? Maybe? It's hard to do. There it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, over here? Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. here. So You're going to have to buy the book. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or it's too far away. Right. And JPAC, are the tickets still available? Uh, it was nearly sold out last I checked. Mm. And, and by the way, I will never assume that that's normal, that we, I can get 2,500 people to come to a theater. And, and hear talk me, and, science. And talk, hear me talk for two hours. Maybe even have to do your rap and your, your, your poems. You know what I'm supposed to say? Like, you, you dance, right? Or you uh, in my day, don't get me, no, in my day. So you when, when I was dancing, dance? when I was dancing, no one published my books. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's, you know, yeah, I can still, you know, I don't know if I can still do this. Ooh, let's see. Whoa! Oh, no, no, in my day. No, it's in my day. <laughs> Your day is still here, brother. <laughs> don't go anywhere yet. We appreciate you. NJ Pack, December 1st. People can see you in person. Always great to see you Thanks, wherever man. we can. Oh, so right. good to meet you. you. Got it. Thank, Thank you. Neil Grass Tyson, you know him, you love him.